Okay. Good afternoon, my beautiful friends. You're gonna see my face just a few seconds, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna bake a good a goodie. It's gonna be good. I wanna bake a banana bread. And I have some of the ingredients, so I'm gonna lower the camera so I can show you what I'm gonna do, okay? Let's go and lower the camera. So I have to drain it's banana bread, and I'm using this cookbook. Rocky Hill, Rocky Hill Elementary School, 2002 to 2003. So this, I found this recipe and it sounds really great. Sounds good. So I'm going to use, I'm going to put in this bowl, three and a half cup, three cups of sugar. Let me see here. Where's the sugar? Oh, here's the sugar. I'm going to be turned around. Three and a half. Three cups of sugar. And I'm going to put it in this bowl. It's a little bit lumpy. It's the moisture. It's the moisture in this house. Can you see? I don't know if you can even see me. I'm doing my best, sweet people. I don't know. The sugar is right here. I'm just working my way through, okay? When you're in someone's kitchen, it's obviously a little bit different. Three cups of sugar. What I'm going to do, I'm using this whisk and kind of try to get the, the lumps out of the sugar. Well, I can use the, my fingers, be just be good. Use my fingers. I hope I'm going to do everything okay, like I need to do. I want to make Make Angela be proud of him, her mom. Okay, here's the sugar. And I'm going to add to this sugar three and a half cups uh, flour. It says plain flour, but we're going to use self-rising. Oh my goodness, I'm already making a mess. It says self-rising. So what I'm going to do... And that, um, that, that way I don't have to add any soda or baking powder. It's all already my self-rising flour. So what I'm going to do here, kind of mix it up. She's going to give me a ribbon. I'm making a mess. But we clean up after a while. So can you see me, beautiful people? Yeah, I want to do this, show this to all to my friends. What we're doing here. So I think this is mixed enough. This is mixed. Now, I'm going to beat eggs. I'm going to beat the eggs. Be, uh, can you see? I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to beat four eggs. Four eggs. Can you see me? Okay. Or can you see my... <laughs> I know you can see my face, but you have to see what I'm doing. One egg. Two eggs. Three eggs. Four eggs. Okay. So I'm going to whisk these eggs. I'm going to use my towel. I put the towel here so it'll be easier for me. When I need to wash my hands, I will go over to the sink. But at this moment, all I need to do is just wipe my fingers off. Okay, I'm going to take the whisk and beat and beat the egg. See? Four eggs. I'm going to beat them up to consistency. And to these eggs now... I'm going to add, let me see, I got this on the stove, I don't want to set this book on fire. To these eggs, now I'm going to add one cup of oil, 
and two two thirds cups of water one cup of oil and where's the oh here's the oil one cup of oil one cup of oil to the eggs and then two thirds cups of water i have to have a paper towel excuse me just a moment i'm gonna wrap this off i got a little more oil in here let me see if she got two thirds cup one eighth cup one fourth cup, one third cup, two thirds cups of water. I think what I said, didn't I? Two thirds cups of water. So I'm gonna put water in here. One, one third cup. I just do it this way. Two thirds cups of water. I'm gonna lay this in, lay this down. Am I doing okay? <laughs> okay, I got two thirds of cups of water. Let me see. Do you see this bowl? Yeah, it's in this bowl. Do I need to go a little bit closer? I feel like it. I believe I spilled some oil. I spilled a little bit oil. Let me see if I need to be closer. I feel like I was too, too distant. I think this is better. Let me see, raise it, no, go lower. I believe beautiful people, I think this is better. Because now I'm gonna mix this up. The oil, the egg, and the water. Do I need to add the bananas? Oh yeah. Then now, I already prepped my bananas. I prepped my banana already, five bananas. I mashed them up and they go to this oil mixture with the egg. This is gonna be baked in two steps. One step the wet ingredients and one step the dry ingredients. So I wanna follow the recipe. The way, the way it tells me what to do. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the side. I'm gonna wipe my little fingers. I'm gonna mix this up. This is the banana. I hope, please, hold your fingers crossed so I won't be too messy. That's what I do. You mix it together the best I can. I think once this goes in the flour mixture, the flour and sugar mixture, that'd be fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna add to the dry ingredients. I'm gonna go a little bit at a time, not do too much at one time. You see? Can you see what I'm doing? Add this to the dry ingredients, and I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Blend it together. What I'm gonna do, and add the rest. Here's a spoon. Okay, now it's the rest. I feel a little bit Awkward doing this, but this bit has to be done so you can follow me. You know what I look like, but you're not going to know what this batter is supposed to look like. <laughs> now I have to show you what this batter looks like. I think it's going to be delicious. You don't need a mixer for this. Just hand mix it. And that's why I used to do all my cakes years and years ago. 50 years ago, 60, 60 years ago, 
That's the only way I did my baked goods. All by hand, mixed by hand. Wooden spoon, and I mix it. You see right here? I think this looks good. Can you see? Look at here. This looks awesome. I didn't spray my, my pan yet. My, my bread pan. Because I'm going to do something different. I don't know. What she wants me, I just go ahead and do it, and then she can see after a while what I've done to the batter. Because we're gonna split this batter up. Might be two two pans. I might get three pans out of this. Okay, let me see here. Mix well. Okay, mix two large loaves. Mix well. I think this is all mixed. I feel like it is. This actually is an easy recipe. When you want something sweet, banana, and the banana get over overripe. That's what I'm gonna do. Make some I'm gonna make some for Christmas for my friends, neighbors. The the cake, the bread pan has not that's what I'm gonna use. Let me see what sides these are. I don't know, but this is what she wants me to use. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna spray it. I'm not gonna grease, grease, I'm just gonna use spray. She already wiped them out earlier. So I'm just gonna use the spray. It's a little different. This is the I use the butter flavored cooking spray. I guess I'm, I guess it will work. It doesn't matter what kind of flavor. Okay. I'm gonna spray all three because I believe I need all three. I hope it turns out, I hope it all turns out good. Let me just, I'm just gonna wipe my fingers since I don't, don't handle any meat. I can do it this way. And I'm not gonna have my fingers. So I need to take this spoon out. I need to find some to dip it out because we're gonna, we're gonna split the dough. Let me see what I have to split it. Okay. Whew. I need I need a big spoon. I'm lost. Let me see here. I found something. I'm gonna wipe it. Everything is clean. I just always like to wipe it. So see here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this spoon and kind of dip it. This is the only way to go because I cannot lift the bowl. The bowl is heavy. So, so that is one. Okay, this is one. I could add a little bit more. This is one. We was gonna do something else to the other one. Let me see here. Okay, I think I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some chocolate chip. Oh, yeah, I see what I need to do. I need a knife. 
but I don't know where she got her girl. She has her scissors. Like I said, it's a little bit different. I know she has scissors. I'm, I'll be back in a few minutes. I am back, sweet people. I'm going to make one more plain one. Because the third one, I'm going to add something else. We're going to change it a little bit. Let me make sure. We're going to make two plain ones. And I'm going to add something else to my third one. Might need to add a little bit. Add a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to have three banana bread. And this one now, I'm going to add some pecans. See? These pecans. And they're not really crushed, crushed. I'm just going to add them. I'm just going to add all of them. Just the way they are. And then I'm going to add some cranberries. I think what Angie said. But in order for the cranberries not to sink, I'm going to turn them, turn a little bit in flour. You know, when you turn, when you turn your fruit like raisins and cranberry, turn, add some flowers and kind of turn it in flour, then, uh, they won't sink to the bottom. So what I'm seeing, I kind of, I kind of, and that's the way you do chocolate chips too. If you use chocolate chips, kind of put flour over it and turn the flour. So this should be doing it. Then I add this. It's going to be a cranberry pecan bread. So I think this will do it. And I'm going to turn it again. See, I'm going to beat it. Oh, well, just kind of blend it together. Can you see? That's, that looks pretty. I think I got enough. Okay, now I'm going to fill the dirt pan. So I'm just going to leave it like this and put it in the pan. And I think this is going to work perfect. Yeah. I think my judgment, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, beautiful people. Can you see it now? Yeah, I used the. I'm going to put all this now. Okay. Let me use a spoon. I always got the, to me, I always have to use the last drop, which is hard to do. Okay. You see now, that was enough for this. Can you see? This has the raisin, now the cranberry in the nuts. Pecans. You see? Now I'm going to put all three of these. I have to be careful so I don't spill. I need to wipe my hand again. The oven is preheated. The oven is preheated. And I have to be careful. Put all three in here. One. Two. Three. This works perfect. This gives me an idea for the holidays when I make my own at home. And give it as gift. So, in the oven, 
I have them in the oven and I have to bake now approximately uh, well it doesn't say really it said preheat the oven to 350 it well let me see I would say for this pan at least 35 minutes oh I'm gonna show my face now I'm back <laughs> I hope I did everything okay, what I'm supposed to do, because it didn't, it really doesn't take long to mix, but I tried to show all of you what needed to be done. And as I would say 35, 35 minutes, we're gonna check it. And I see you after I take it back out of the oven. I wish she could smell it once it start baking. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. Love you. See you in a little while. Bye bye. Omi, we got it pulled out. You think it's cooled off enough to put in a something so we I've can tried. or do you wanna cut it out of the I've tried. It's not cool enough. Not cool enough yet. No. So we'll have to come back. Look how beautiful. It is. Look how beautiful. Maybe it this is. One, this might come up, but it's okay. We're going to have to cut it before we take it out. Okay, let me take a picture of you holding it. Hang on. Oh.